All right, well, I'm done clearancing, I think. So here's what I did. The, the cam was hitting the rods in some very specific places. So what I did is I just barely took the corner off of these rods, only on the cam side. Um, let's see. So you can see here and right here. And uh, that's on the on the uh, bottom side. And then what I did on the cam, and I just cleaned this off with some parts cleaner, so I'll bring it over. Uh, but you can see what I did is basically on the flat sides, this cam, which is a FK42, was already somewhat clearanced uh, because it had flat sides. Uh, but let me put this in and see how it uh, how it spins. It was it was already really really close um, with the pre-clearance flat sides, but just throw a little oil on there and get this dot, which is right here. And let's see if I can find the other dot. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the correct spot. Get these things out of the way. And my dot is in the middle of the other two dots. Roll it around. And boom, so the cam is in place. So to show you what I did, and I mean, it's not particularly polished per se, but both sides, flat side looks like that. And the flat side looks like this. And then what happens is when you rotate this around, let's see if I can get this. I can show it here. There we go. When I rotate this around, you'll see Keep that cam in place. So you see right here? Clearance that. Clearance this here. And then I'll check the other two. which are right here and here. Do you see this one? Right here. And make sure that the cam is all the way down in its bearing. And then, when this one comes down, Seems to clear that one just fine. And this one here has plenty of space on that pass. So it actually passes both sides. So in theory, you'd have to, you know, make sure that it, that it clears on both sides. The other thing that was, um, this cam, you know, has three bolts here in terms of connecting it. And what I noticed is that I had originally just picked a random uh, orientation. And what that did is the flat sides on the angle cam were not pointed the right way for the rods. So I did have to adjust um, which way this cam was on the three Allen bolts, that, or Allen screws there, just to make sure that it was pointed the right way. And then as I mentioned, I took my Dremel, which was this guy right here. And I went on, I went on the cam right here on the flat sides, both sides of the flat sides. And then I took a little sandpaper just to take off the rough edges there that the Dremel took off. And then I realized that 
you know, I could do a lot just by taking just the slight edge off of this shoulder on where the ARP bolt comes in without really compromising the, uh, the rod too much. So I just went over that just barely just to take off, you know, uh, you know, a little tiny bit there. So now it appears as though this cam and the rods will clear on the 84 um, crankshaft. And so I'm going to, um, you know, proceed to clean it up a little bit, put in the lifters, and then, uh, well, I'm waiting for my distributor drive gear, so I can't really close it up, <clears throat> but I could close it up with a couple of bolts just to test the clearance with a fully closed uh, case. All right. All right, so I put on the um, uh, other half just to check the uh, you know, clearance that nothing hits. And so now, let's see, I didn't really torque this down, but it is in there. I have the bearings on both sides. Um, I didn't bolt it down or anything, but when I turn this, see that I can turn this I'm not getting anything hitting turning the cam just fine so I believe that my clearance issues are good now with the 84 millimeter crankshaft so that is great so that, again that just took some dremeling on the two flat sides of the angle FK42 cam and then uh, just taking off the lower shoulder right below the back side of the where the ARP bolt is and I just dremeled just to take the edge off of that. All right and just one quick addition that I did was to um, I removed the uh, block off plate here that came with the case because it was a cheaper one I have this one from uh, CB and it had a paper gasket and I know some people put the paper gaskets on there dry um, I'm making extra effort on this motor because my current motor down here uh, You know drips just a tiny bit of oil now and again. So when I assemble this new 2332 I am making every effort to have zero oil leaks if that is at all possible. So this has Permatex aviation That's this slimy stuff here and that is on the um, on, on both sides of the paper gasket with a block off plate all right so um, next step is you know I have to wait for my um, distributor drive uh, gear and um, I gotta go get my assembly book just to uh, make 100% sure and I have to order my eight millimeter head studs. So that is what I'm gonna do now.